Welcome to the headquarters of the National Chronographic Society, publishers of the ultra-famous National Chronographic Data Zine. We are currently working on a special issue called Dinosaur Safari, Dinosaurs of the Mesozoic Era. Your job is to collect data crystals of dinosaurs and other extinct reptiles for this special issue. Perhaps you would like a tour of the building. This is the cladogram room. In the cladogram room, you will select a target dinosaur. Heterodontosaurus. Saltopus. And prepare for your safari. Darithosaurus. Just down the hall. Is the chronosphere room. Inside the chronosphere, you will find sockets for five data crystals, as well as the usual controls for traveling through time or moving around the world for accessing information. Many dinosaurs hunt along the borders of forests like this. For identifying plants and animals, Arachariaxalan, a modern conifer tree. Cycadioidea, a cycadioid. And for taking snapshots. Remember, you pay for all the energy your chronosphere uses. You must return to the National Chronographic Society before you run out of energy. When you return from your safari, you go back to the cladogram room and sell your best data crystals. For energy credits, and other rewards. Downstairs from the cladogram room, you will find your office. You may rest here until you are ready for your next assignment. Check the computer screen for additional information. All right, let's go check out the wall over here. This is to certify that you have attained the level of rookie photographer. And these are hints and special uh, keyboard things that I've never been able to figure out how to use and it's like newts and we got some sort of glossary sources and then we got pretty much the producers of the game creative multimedia Saltopus. and Saltopus is uh, our first dinosaur here so we're going to our time machine if you're not familiar we uh, hunt dinosaurs back in the prehistoric age. Uh, after Pangaea, I guess. After like all the continents were merged, we go to different like Mesozoic, Cretaceous, Jurassic, and uh, basically it's Pokemon Snap, uh, where you find what you're trying to take a picture of, and then uh, if you get enough points acquired, you. Uh, you get paid in energy crystals and you get rewarded like say a video camera a radar or a voice caller dino caller should I say but um, this is not done on Windows XP this is emulated on VMware or Microsoft uh, virtual PC um, I had issues with sound with Microsoft Virtual PC, but this is on VMware, and there is, you see that blue line right there, how it kind of slowly trickles up to the crystal, that's like a graphical bug, I guess, um, that's the one difference that I noticed from the original, like, playing it on Windows 95 or Windows XP, that it would be more fluid, but, uh, but anyways, for the most part, the game runs pretty well. Um, what you need to do to install it on Windows XP, at least, 
is uh, download the ISO link in the description, extract it with WinRAR. Um, go ahead and go to setup, um, right click setup, go to properties and put it into 640 by 480 and then also um, run in compatibility mode for Windows XP and you might want to also do that for dinosafari.exe and then basically you want to install it to the C directory it's very important and then when it's done it's going to ask you do you want to launch Dino Safari now and go ahead and do it if you don't do it like this you may get video files that don't like locate themselves properly or should I say they don't link to each other and then you'll start getting errors with the program but I did it you know like I just described and it's it tends to you know work quite well you want to use the d-pad um, or uh, on the keyboard the uh, the arrow keys um, rather than clicking with the mouse, which would skip you randomly across the world. <laughs> um, I find that the D-pad works best. Um, this is actually a 100% walkthrough of the game for finding all the dinosaurs, but it's quite lengthy, so if you're looking for a particular dinosaur or whatever that you might have missed, um, Go ahead and skip through the video until you see that uh, the blue crystals have been acquired by me, and then just backtrack until I find until you find it because this is looking to be like a, a two-hour run here. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We got that thing. Um, you'll notice on the right, the picture has to match up with what you're trying to actually photograph. So. The thing on the video screen um, in the middle has to line up and match exactly the same direction as the, the black and white image on the right. It's a little hint for me. So yeah, when I got three of the blue crystals lit up, it uh, completed the, the clad for that particular dinosaur class. So he rewards us with some energy crystals and I've been promoted to junior which gives us the Handycam video camera, which also doubles the amount of points you can get, I believe, something like that. Well, um, there's also like a glitchy thing with the game where if the dinosaur isn't like perfectly centered in the screen and you go to like record a video too early or too late, you'll miss credit for it and it'll give you like zero. Even though it's in the picture frame, it has to be like perfect or the dinosaur has to be doing some sort of action whereas right here the stegosaurus was on its hind legs um in other ones it would be like a dinosaur eating um some sort of like uh foliage grass or like a meat eater eating some sort of rat or something sweet more data crystals for me oh boy Happy days, happy days. Very honest. All right, so this top right uh, clad is all meat eaters, more or less, or pretty much that's all what they are. Um, this one in particular is one of those finicky ones where you gotta wait for it to actually kind of get ready to g get into the river to eat a fish for it to give you credit. So. It's just me hopping around the uh, Jurassic World until I can figure out where that little river is. Like sometimes, or most of the time, <clears throat> I, I have an idea of exactly which frame I need to get to, but I don't know where it is on the map, so I just keep jumping around until I see the one that I'm looking for. And that's usually how it goes. Um, before actually recording this, I played for maybe 10, 10 games, <laughs> 10 practice games, just to get familiar with where all the dinosaurs are. Um, it's more or less a memory game once you get to that point, and then if you don't use the auto time period selector and you do it manually, then that's one way to make the game 
more challenging or harder whereas you have to actually learn the uh, time frame for each dinosaur um, but I'm just a noob and playing with the auto feature which brings me to the correct time period and I just have to figure out where the dinosaur is located you are promoted to senior reporter please accept this radar device Ooh, baby we got a radar device Binosaurus. I'm gonna stop those dinosaurs from speeding on our speed detector but anyhow what the radar device does from what I can tell is it will jump you towards the area that you need to go to it won't automatically take you directly there but it will I guess if you click it enough times uh, it will eventually magnetize you to the exact spot that that di that particular dinosaur that you're looking for is at. You'll notice a lot of times I'll wait for him to kind of get to the very center of the frame and then uh, do the capture video. And I always use the video. Once you get the video, you don't need the camera anymore. Just throw that thing away. You are promoted to Ace Reporter. Look at that. Please accept this dinosaur lure. We're like 12 minutes in of this video, and like, what would I say? Like 8 minutes of the game, and I'm already Ace. I think that's the final one. Tyrannosaurus Rex. I was kind of disappointed by this because, like, the Allosaurus. Or no, no. Uh, Megalosaurus. He will charge you and, like, attack the dome sphere thing or the time machine that you're in but the Tyrannosaurus he'll just kind of look at you <laughs> you ain't gonna touch my eggs but yeah uh, you'll notice that I, I jump off and come back to the same area a lot it's because the uh, dinosaur is not available and if he comes if he doesn't come out right away then he's not going to come out at all unless you use a dinosaur call for example so and i get no credit for that you can clearly see a t-rex but it's not good enough they want perfection in their videos so we'll head on back to the cryosphere I got 674 energy steps, or whatever you want to call it, energy cells to move. Um, yeah, this is gonna be hard to commentate. There's just so many, like, I guess, frames and me doing pretty much the same thing until it happens. But all right, so I, I'm waiting for a Tyrannosaurus T-Rex to pop out again and it might take upwards of like 10 attempts or so but it's a guaranteed to bring him out with the dinosaur call but it costs like 75 energy crystals or something so there we go we waited for him we got a perfect pose of him stomping his foot and uh, we got maximum value on a return 224 energy crystals that's what I'm talking about but I'm kind of low on energy crystals, so um, in this case, rather than I think it's 20 energy things that you have to spend when the alien, when you run out of energy crystals, the alien will automatically make you buy more energy crystals, and their price is like 20 a piece, I think. So that's a hundred of your energy credits down the drain. So what I tend to do when I'm really low is go to complete a individual um, or yeah pretty much an individual clad that will give me like a couple energy crystals after I, I find that particular dinosaur. It's called strategy. But I did notice later on like when you're almost clearing out the entire board with uh, turning them all blue basically finding all, all the dinosaurs there's like a glitch that occurs where you don't get credit for the left hand side of the single energy cells for whatever reason or the well at least in this game on this emulator this is what happened the uh, the left 
The first row, basically, on the left, did not give me, um, replenished my energy crystals when I completed the clads. I don't know why that was, but maybe I had too many energy crystals at the time, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We are going to the ocean. Like, these three dinosaurs in this clad are all sea animals. And that turtle I just got for the, for the heck of it. So, we got, like, the prehistoric dolphin, Pliosaurus, and then it's Ichi, Ichiosaurus. <laughs> you are out of data crystals. Yeah, I Please probably butchered, I butchered both of those more. pronunciations, but, see, so here we go. He's, he's taking my hard-earned energy, because I ran out.